All right, welcome everybody to the Science Center. We're getting close to the end, but uh, I'd like to show you the progress. So we're standing here in front of the robotics lab entry. Um, we'll take a tour. I'd love to show you. Come on, join me. So we're standing in the robotics lab. This will also be the home of our eco car. You can see it's a great big space. There's a machine room off to my left here and another um, assembly area. And the doors will all be glassed onto the main hallway of the Science Center. This is the new CAD lab. You'll notice it's facing Seven Mile. Big space, big open space for all of our CAD and programming classes. So now we're standing in the new Arupe Center Learning Center where we do our tutoring and test taking. This space is probably three times as big as the current space we have in the main building. Over in the back you'll see that we have a whole testing area that's set off in a, in a separate place and an office area for conferences and students and parents. This is one of the new physics labs. As you remember, they're lecture labs. So the lecture and the lab is in the same space. We're standing in the area that's the lecture area, and then the lab part is on the other side uh, on the back where the windows are. To my right right here is going to be all glass. That the, the, the physics classroom will be able to see down into the robotics lab, which will be really wonderful. Again, this is one of two physics labs. Um, as you notice, lots of space um, and lots of light for our physics program. I'm standing here in the middle of the, one of our chemistry lecture labs. This is obviously the lab part of the lecture. Um, this is one of two lecture labs in the new building, if you remember correctly. This is what we were told by the universities, that we should have lecture labs, big open space, so the faculty can move back and forth between lecture and lab. In between both of these lecture labs for chemistry is a storage area for chemicals, but also where they can prepare chemicals that maybe have um, fumes, so there'll be a fume hood. They can go back and forth between the two lecture labs. So the, not only have a big lab here, we have a big lab next door, but also this communication between the two where they can do, bring things out that maybe have chemicals that need, need fume hoods. And all the storage is also off the side so we can leave plenty of room for the tables and for the students to do their experiments. So this is one of the emergency stairways, but you'll notice it's pretty big. One of the things we did was we widen the stairway so that the physics department can actually do experiments here. They can drop items four floors down the middle, so we actually widen the stairway to make it better for the physics department to be able to do their drops. Kind of cool. This is one of the four classrooms that are undesignated right now. There are four classrooms at phase seven mile. You'll notice lots of light um, and a lot of space. This is one of the two student lounges in the building. These are places just for students to be comfortable. There'll be couches and probably tables and places to plug in their devices. But also behind me will be where we have our wonderful stained glass window that will bring the science and faith together. So the students will have a place to sit and also contemplate how faith and science come together with the good old St. Ignatius looking over them. This is one of the biology labs, as the other ones. It's a lecture lab, so the lecture area and the lab area. Um, and it's connected, again, like the physics and the chemistry are connected with all the storage space in between the two lecture labs. Again, lots of light, lots of storage space, and a big roomy place for the students to do their biology experiments. This room is actually the best room in the new building. It's the, it's the Academy 7th and 8th grade science lab. Great big space, lots of windows, top of the building, overlooking 7 Mile in the front lawn. What a great place for our 7th and 8th graders to do science. This is the ellipse, the centerpiece of the entrance to our, our new science building. Behind me you can see the way to the, in, the new visitor's entrance, which if you remember is the front of the Jesuit residence. Um, and then uh, on the ceiling you'll see there's an oculus, a skylight on the top. And where I'm standing now will be more or less the center of Father Charlevoix's compass, which of course will point north and the, and the lines from his compass will radiate down the hall according to some mathematical equation about which I know nothing. So you can see the building is phenomenal. It's huge, it's beautiful. The spaces are bright and lots of light. It's gonna, it looks like the rest of the school. It's, it's so exciting. It's gonna be a great place for the students to study and to learn science. I'm thankful to all of you who've made this happen. Your generosity has produced something really, really beautiful. If you're watching this and you haven't yet made a donation, there's still time to be a part of this great project. We just have a little ways to go. You can help us over the finish line.